Hello and welcome to this episode of Packet Tracer. In this episode, we want to talk about creating custom device templates and removing those templates once we are done with it. So the purpose for creating a custom device template is that we can customize a device based on our needs and we can save it as a device template so that we can reuse it later on whenever we want to. Even if we close Packet Tracer, we restart our computer, the device template will always be available for, for us to be used at a later time. Let's get started. First, I want to go to End Devices and I want to customize a PC. Now this PC by default has a fast Ethernet interface. Instead of this fast Ethernet interface, I want to add a wireless module to this, to this PC. Let's add a wireless module to this PC. Now my PC is customized and I want to save this customization as device template. Let's close this window. Come here in the tools menu, custom device dialog. And in here, I can select this device, give it a name, customized PC, give it a description, PC with wireless module and add it in the subcategory that you want to. I want to add it in the end switches subcategory and also in the miscellaneous subcategory. Now press add. And now Packet Tracer asks you to save this custom device template file as a PDD file in the templates folder of Packet Tracer. Remember that you always save this PTD file in the templates folder. Otherwise, if you save it somewhere else, it will not appear on the Packet Tracer because Packet Tracer will always log on the templates folder. Now let's save this PTD file. Now you can see that my PC, which is the customized PC, has appeared here in the miscellaneous category and it has also appeared in the end device category. Let's see. You can see that my customized PC is also available there. Now let's create another instance of this PC. Open this instance and you will be able to see that I have the wireless module already installed. I can further customize this PC by going to customize icon in logical view and I can select an image to be used as the icon for this PC. Let's go to downloads folder. I have this image. Now, as you can see, the icon is customized and it appears with a different icon. Unfortunately, there is no way to save this icon in the custom device template. And that's it for this episode, everyone. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to see you in the next episode. Stay tuned.